Today I'm going to experience a double challenge because currently I'm already living with one Filipina. I'm living with Gwen. But today is Sunday and Gwen decided she is going to invite her Filipino friend. She's living here in Ostrava for eating lunch together, spending some time here, talking, just enjoying Sunday. To prevent any other people from getting stomach issues, it was me who was cooking lunch today. So I picked quite a typical check, or actually it was Gwendy who picked a meal for today. I was preparing like traditional meal of Czech cuisine, but I adapted it a little bit to the Asian thing, which means the side dish is not dumplings, but it's rice. So everyone will be satisfied. What you did? I was cleaning the house because Filipino culture is um, inviting someone in your house and if the house is not clean, that means disrespectful for your visitor, so I was cleaning since the morning. That's true, I kinda like this culture, the house looks perfect, I'm amazed, but it has a huge disadvantage what? for me, because once Gwen is cleaning the house around, after that I'm not able to find anything. <laughs> Literally any other thing. I remember, for example, I put the case on the window and I'm counting on that the case will be on that window, but once the little dwarf is cleaning, the case is never on its place. Yeah, because it looks so annoying, all the things are just around. So I was just putting it somewhere. You have to find it, it's your challenge. Or you have to ask me if you're gonna look for something. So I don't want to ask. ask, I know where it is or where <laughs> it is supposed to be. I can say we are ready for our friend to come. And as a host, I feel like quite of nervous always when I'm inviting someone over, preparing meals, everything. If the meal will be good, if it will be tasty, if they will like it, if they will enjoy it. That's what makes me nervous. So let's see if two Filipinas will like a Czech dish I made. It doesn't matter what you will cook. If there is <laughs> rice, they will eat everything. <laughs> We're not choosing. So what are you cooking? For today's dish. I picked beef tenderloin, roasted it, sitting here. Oh. <laughs> with a sauce. And as a side dish, it should be dumplings, but I picked a rice. Is it delicious? It's not bad. Everything is ready. Everything is ready. Except you. I am ready. <laughs> You should wear some shorts. I'm wearing panty. No, we have visitor. And? No, you should wear some shorts. Look at him. He's feeling at home. Because I am at home. <laughs> <laughs> That's Filipino culture too. If you are having hard times opening the jars with anything, you just need to put the knife Use some leverage so the air can go inside and then you can unscrew the lid. Oh! Ooh. Hmm. Easy? Yeah! Oh. Kuba is preparing foods. I'm gonna see you in the house. I'm gonna go my house. 26. 26? Wow! 26. I'm gonna go on. Pili, did you want? 27. Ah, 26, yeah. Oh. 27 ka. Oh. <laughs> she said you're so young. <laughs> but I look older than you. <laughs> tough. So here's her friend. Hi. Her name is Che. And how many years you've been here, Te? Around, I would say six years, five years. Six years already in Czechia? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Svichkova, what's the name of the food? Yeah, it's Svichkova, but it's beef, roasted beef. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be pork, right? Mm -hmm. No? It's beef. So it's different though, also, because I try also like this, so it's, it was beef, I thought it was pork. Like, I believe you can, if people don't like beef, yeah. they can eat it, like, replace it with pork and it will be still like fine. Not the recipe itself is always made 
Yeah, because I think I ate last time it was pork and something, you know, with this one, with the Yeah, spot. this is like, um, this is pork belly fat. It's thick inside. Ah, like. ah so maybe it was pork then. <laughs> I know, it was beef. Mm -hmm. But if you eat that, you can taste the, the pork fat from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay, it's fine. Thank you. Good. It's nice preparation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... I like cooking and everything, but what I like of is like exposing it on a plate. I don't have that creativity to make it look nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. It's perfect. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you cannot do around the biotics. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> Also today we have two visitors. Little visitor is sitting right here. Her name is Daisy. Her name is Daisy and Daisy refused my bee. <laughs> Right, Daisy? It's not delicious <laughs> for you, right? Mm. Yeah, she's not like uh, you know the other dog normally like every you give food and start away she doesn't change the sleep. Yeah. And when she's healthy, then she will come back and eat. Good for you, Daisy. When we could see with Daisy for the first time. She was barking on me so much, but this time she's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because we heard that. Very nice. Yeah, mm. it's not really how it should be. Delicious. And it absolutely should not be with pickles, but Gwen put pickles. <laughs> Kimchi. She I was trying it. to make it before, but it got mold on it. Yeah, like because I, you did not do it in the right way, I think. Oh, I, and I was trying just once and then <laughs> I did not try again. It's really different from the store. In the store, we just bought once and mm -hmm. it was not good. Yeah. I did not like the taste, but I did not know it should taste like that or not. But this one tastes much more better, I would say. <laughs> and we bought it just once. No, now we believe it, Dari. It's not good. It's there is more rice and sauce everything you feel. Like. <laughs> Not the rice, but sauce, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> the rice is so much. I'm not a rice, uh, she's not that a rice eater, baby. But I'm big. <laughs> you are used to me, right? Because yeah, I, I eat a lot of rice. <laughs> rice eater, you can go to one, you can go to one, you can go to one. Thank you. Before I was a rice eater, but. Um, Later on, when I'm dipping with a partner, I'm always bread, bread, potato, pasta. <laughs> I would say I stopped eating like those potatoes at all. Maybe we had once. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't eat much potatoes, just rice, and I'm trying to avoid bread and rice as well <laughs> because I'm kind of heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's true, me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But. Um, and I will eat just a little. Mm -hmm. Trying to avoid, then I will still be fat, and she will eat everything twice, and she's. Osa ka kalira, ra osa ka adlaw gula na ako. Rugamay ka nung malagi. But because maybe I'm I'm fine because my boyfriend accept me for how, what shape I am, and he's big also, and I'm big, so we are it together, perfect. And I told him I want to go on diet, and he he said. Oh, do you have someone else? <laughs> no! <laughs> so then why are you going on diet? Okay, no diet. <laughs> you like it? Mm -hmm. I can give you more. Because I don't know if you want it, you know. You can get it full if you will give birth again. They will pay you all the money remaining. <laughs> and you will have money full in your hand if you give birth again. In Philippines, you don't receive anything. <laughs> And my other, my my eldest daughter also she doesn't like in here because of the language. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. We can sit here in the floor, you know, like Filipino style. Yeah. We eat in the floor if we don't have table and chairs. 
At home, I like kitchen. I like kitchen stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we don't have much, right? Yeah, I like I like uh, I like everything in the kitchen because I like cooking and I like using different. You know, when I cook, I do the. Uh, I also like I really like cooking everything. It's most of the time me cooking. And when I when we were living at home, there is also maybe the same like in your house. So many kitchen stuff you can use everything. Yeah. And here. We decided we want to reduce it as much as you can. And what I found out, you don't really need plenty of stuff to make yeah. the same dishes. But it's more comfortable when people have that. Maybe you don't like Philippines and you want to come back in here and then settle down, then maybe you will buy stuff in the kitchen. Yeah, that would be like, if Hello. it will not work in the Philippines, we are immediately going back here. And in our family house, there is the second floor, which needs to be reconstructed and we can stay there. You are from Cebu, up there? Yes, yeah. I'm from Cebu, but when I originally I was, I not was, I'm from um, Mindanao. Is it really that dangerous there to stay over terrorist things? No, not really. If you go somewhere, yes, to go like, you know, like... Uh, when I was telling me there are still like cases that people or villages that are run by those people with guns. Oh, yeah. Certain places. It's in uh, Sultan Kodarat, it's somewhere in Marawi, in Tawe Tawe. They are, you know, dangerous. But it's not really in the whole Pindano is dangerous, no. There yeah, are these yeah. certain places. In Samwanga, oh, yes. Yeah. It was opening in the plaza for the, you know, Christmas lights. Mm -hmm. And I thought they're having fireworks. And, oh, fireworks, and we didn't know that somebody was already <laughs> uh, shooting. <laughs> I was shooting already. It's hard to like. Yeah. And we're just running because, oh, fireworks, fireworks, oh shit, you know, I said fireworks, guys, <laughs> oh <laughs> So we're hiding, you know. And some of my friends was in the plaza and they're hiding somewhere in the, you know. And some, and one bodyguard died at the time. It was shoot. Yeah, it was and shooting. There are certain places as well in Negros, you know? Yeah, because they want to kidnap the mayor. Oh, well, Negros is right under Cebu. Yeah. You know Negros because that uh, guy and his wife is from Negros. Yeah. That uh, YouTuber. And Palawan also happened. There's no such thing as uh, every... It's safe. If it's time for you to be kidnapped, then it's time for you. Mm. Like the security itself is like not really good. Gwen was telling me that her brother was shot yeah. before. That's one of my biggest concerns if we would live there. Mm. The safety. Uh, it's really complicated. Uh, men in the Philippines are quite no. complicated. No, like it's, their not, mind is like it's not about also. They are also with drugs. You know? Yeah, because of drugs yeah. things. And also news, I think news yesterday I read. Uh, nine years old, child, ten, ten years old. She was sleeping, and suddenly men came in the house and abduct her, and bring her to the bushes and rape her. In so many cases, yeah. not just in one and, yesterday. And luckily, the girl escaped, and she's bleeding already in her, you know, in her womanhood. So and they, they, they did not know who's the guy because nobody said, but the child was able to run and and shouting. So the neighbor was starting, you know, saving her, but already she's already bleeding. Well, that's really a thing which I'm questioning how the fuck did yes. it can happen. And many cases, like. Many cases, yeah. Uh, many cases have been raped. Hundreds of kids and women are being raped and And some in my province also. It's not that I don't, uh, I don't uh, you know, I'm just dealing what happened. When I was um, in grade two, around eight years old. And I have classmate, not classmate, like schoolmate, and we have. What? You will try it anyway. You have very sexy wife. I know. Yeah. I, that's my concern as well that <laughs> there in the Philippines she will run away with. Philippines. Yeah. No, not Filipino, you but know, maybe she will run away with someone you know else. What happened to my cousin? That's the hidden talent of Filipinos. We are only worse. Like, I would say that there are a lot of Filipinos who are ignorant about other people's culture, especially if they haven't experienced going on the mm -hmm. country and they're always living in this place, especially if they can see a European for the first time, so they will change their bad attitude into good ones. They will be hospitable, kind, but deep inside to other Filipinos, they are not. Yeah, that's what you're doing, you're
because my partner always watching them. Yeah, I'm all close to watching yeah. them. Yeah. I'm like impressed because maybe that's why I want to go to the Philippines because I can only see that nice. <laughs> but I cannot see, no one will show that for you. Of course not. They will not show you the bad side, they will always yeah. show you the good side. Because that's for the view. We're gonna expose so we the bad side. We will show, we will expose the bad side. So what are what? you planting there or what farm are you doing? We have Bits sugar beets, soybeans. Ah, oh, really? Soybeans, canola, wheat, barley. Wheat? Wheat, what? Uh, the bread was made out. Ah, the wheat, yeah. You were thinking wheat like marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, it is also grown here. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a, they're and also planting. You can see, maybe if you will notice around the tree, there is a huge field of marijuana, but that's the kind of marijuana you will not get like high from that. Yeah, they're using it for medication, I think. For yeah, medical yeah. Now. But what's happening to us, to farmers, there is, for example, filled with corn uh -huh. and the drug dealers they will come they will plant the marijuana there because they are thinking the farmers will fertilize the field uh -huh. so the, their marijuana will be fertilized yeah. and before the harvest of corn they will come there they will pick those uh, blossoms and they will sell it as really? they have no care because farmers will take care of their plants and like that yeah, 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 they have to make sure they will be there before the harvest of corn or else the marijuana will be like harvested and the cows will eat that and the cows will be high <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm addicted to nicotine, I was smoking before a lot mm -hmm. and cannot get rid of that That's the... So do you still smoke antenna? I don't smoke, I use... it's a kind of... Oh yeah, yeah, use. I know And it was also horrible <laughs> it is, and I try to stop myself by not smoking for three days or not using that for three days, and then Filipina will make me mad and I have to go to buy me <laughs> so I cannot stop ever. <laughs> Too stress, yeah. It's normal, you know. How many, <laughs> how many years you've been married? We've been married one year, one year and a couple of months, but we know each other. Years. No, you have 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> 10 years of marriage before you can before you can accept each other character. Oh. That's what they say. <laughs> so we yeah. are still in the beginning. Yeah, you're just in the beginning. And you want to hold hold the hands and you are shy, you know? Like the girl is shy or the boy is shy? Both. Both. Oh yeah, I know that. No, because the hands. because the relatives Ah, it was <laughs> like a hook. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> the Maritas will yeah. see you. Marites. Yeah, the Maritas will attack, you know? Here we are, guys, in the end of our time. I was handling two Filipinas today. <laughs> How was it? How was it, it woman? How was I as a host? Very good. Yeah. Very good. You're very Excellent. Like perfect. perfect. Good host, good cook, all the food is so oh, delicious. It's the biggest compliment that Filipino will appreciate the food because I it's, always like Filipino foods yeah. and if someone will compliment the foods of mine, it's... No, because it's not salty. <laughs> it's not salty? Yes, it's, it's not salty. It's better if it's not salty? Yes. You're not for the salt. Yeah, because in here normally if you go to the restaurants, normally the food are salty. Is uh, it? Mm. Yeah. We don't go to the restaurant, so we don't know much, but I don't use too much salt like yeah. that was my taste like how i found it but i also noticed there they like salty as well because yes. i noticed the so soup is already salty but kuba is still putting some soy sauce yes. to make it more salty <laughs> <laughs> what does it do it's really salty and it wants to make it more salty uh, so i like it because you know the taste it's not salty you know mm -mm. it's the best it's easy it was nice having you here She's huh? very excited to go home. No, she's like, you know, like guarding you because you know. She, I just leave it here. Just leave her here. Oh, I'm excited to go home because uh, my daughter, she gave me an account in Disney. Disney account so you can watch Marvel, oh, yeah, <laughs> Disney yeah, yeah. movies. Oh. And she's the one who's paying. Mm -hmm. It's free. <laughs> <laughs>
There is gonna be so many hours now yes, working. Yes, yes. Because mommy, I will give you an account and I pay it every month. Okay, <laughs> thank uh, you. Do you like Marvel on those things? Yes. She doesn't like and she doesn't want to watch with me. I like it. <laughs> we will watch together. I will come over. <laughs> We're going home now. We're going home, yeah? We're going home. Excited? Going home? Go. Sure. <laughs> but we don't have banana here, so... <laughs> Everyone has to get rid of the candle because she cannot use them here. <laughs> no, I will, I will take the candles if she doesn't like it. Yeah. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Bye-bye. You going as well? Yeah, she's dropping it somehow. Somewhere, nowhere. Mapa drop ka? I can close. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> hey. See you. And this is the end. Both Filipinas are gone, and I can start the cleaning of everything. Thank you guys for watching. This video was kind of different. It was not only us with Gwen in the video. We had our visitor today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like, hit the like and subscribe button. And see you next time. Bye.